Welcome to the winter wonderland Every year I suffer, man, I should have made a plan But it's minus 30 on the temperature And I'm getting cabin fever I need an adventure, or maybe just a stand I can stay in and watch a movie, but I need chips for that Too far to walk, too long for a bus I'll saddle up Corolla, the vessel that I trust The store's still open, another 45 minutes And getting dressed alone takes 4 or 5 minutes Long John sweats, and two pair of pants I stay fit, but right now, I wish I had a layer of fat Up a half, no draft, cause I took my t-shirt and my pants Are you aware of that? Two thick coats, that'll do Add a scarf of where I'm from, top it off with a toque Welcome to the winter wonderland Can't remember what I look like with a tan And when you win the winter wonderland Can I get a hit of sunshine one time, man? Welcome to the winter wonderland Even my soul man throw on a sweater And when you win the winter wonderland Make an atheist brain for a change in the weather All shackled up and I'm finally free Looking 50 pounds heavier and now I gotta pee Dressed for the blizzard But the cold shrink your bladder outside Putting pressure on your pisser it's better that I did it And that just killed about another 10 minutes Whatever I'm so persistent To the victor go the spoil And the chips so delicious High in vision tasting that sweet chili heat That'll combat the ice storm that's killing me Cash, keys, step into my boots Gloves, damn it Worst thing to lose Especially when you gotta scrape windows 10 seconds they've been frozen I would get warm If I were hand warmers Where would I be? I'm cutting it fine Cause time is there as can be Welcome to the winter wonderland Can't remember what I look like with a tan And when you win the winter wonderland Can I get a hit of sunshine one time, man? Welcome to the winter wonderland Even my soul man throw on a sweater And when you win the winter wonderland Make an atheist brain for a change in the weather Scouring the condo I'm at the end of my bed But it's hard to bend down low Reach Ball, smashed my brain and would have been knocked out but the padding had saved me Face down, see my gloves, I wish I had a stick Cause my arms don't fit, the padding too thick Ugh. Shed the top layers, sweaty sleeves peeling off me It's getting hot in here, success, finally stepping outside The cold took my breath away, now I can't lie And luckily I had my car plugged in Or the battery had freeze, turned the key in here Nothing, just my luck, the car door was stuck Looks like it's been abandoned, all boarded up Stone cutter chiseling the keys Performing cuts finally get in 20 minutes to warm it up My timepiece frosted, scrape the ice clear The store just closed, shed an icicle tear White flag, I can't take it no more Wake me up in the spring, I hibernate till it's warm Alright guys, so uh, as you've seen it's been uh, We had some snow and then it snowed a little bit more today So my normal riding spots are just super wet or just a bunch of slush and, and some ice so i'm going to start a new series so uh, this is called garage skills and i'm going to try to figure out what kind of skills i can actually learn in my garage so um, today we're going to start out trying to ride fakie on my dirt jumper so i think we have about three pedal strokes worth of uh of fakie that i can do from the ramp to the corner of the garage and uh, if the weather gets better we'll open the garage door and i'll continue down the driveway so let's get started i'm just going to do a, a warm-up and uh, see what happens this is going to be a fairly raw video because uh, i uh, i'm not good at them and that's the whole point is hopefully i can learn something new over the winter and hopefully this won't be the only skill i pick up over the winter so let's do it you know what they say necessity is the mother of invention so here we go get warm. Got a very small riding spot in here so it can get interesting. What you probably can't see is I've got some lights in here lighting toward the back of the garage and it's very little rain to ride. I'd have another 14 or so inches if the lights weren't there but that's kind of the best play for them. I know one of the things that helps riding fakie is just get used to pedaling backwards, so you just kind of go around. Keep your hips and your knees. 
I guess used to uh, getting and pedaling backwards. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start practicing going up the ramp here. Just kind of coasting backwards. One of the things I've noticed about riding backwards is obviously you want to lean into the way you're turning. So one exercise I do is turn the wheel to the left and I'll lean to the left, turn the wheel to the right, turn the wheel to the left, lean to the left. Kind of get you into the muscle memory movements. And then I'll go up the ramp and I'll come back down and I'll start turning. And practice that lean and I'll do this repetitively a bunch of times just to get used actually balancing going backwards. And as I get more used to it, I'll start picking my feet up a little bit more. And then I'll catch my back brake at the end, pop the wheel up. The ultimate goal is to ride out of this thing with a, a spin wheel, really move like that. So, also incorporating into the move is when I turn and spin out the end. The other thing I noticed too is that uh, when I get frustrated, because you're going to see a lot of, you're going to see a lot of failure. A lot of failure. With any type of failure, it can be uh, demoralizing at some point, the repetitive nature of failure. So what I'll do is I'll just regroup and I might just ride around, go bunny hop or two, and then I'll start back and do my coaster exercise and my lean exercise. And I'll just start getting more and more comfortable and then I'll go back at it, do it another few times. Let's do it. So I think the other tip, other thing that I've noticed is one of the things that I wanted to try to do when I first started was I would start backpedaling really fast. And although short term that helps you with your balance because your legs are moving and you feel like your bike is mounted, longer term it doesn't help you out. So what I figure is you need to actually put some pressure on the cranks. So when I get to wherever I stop at, I just let, I put just a slight bit of pressure on the crank and I let the bike turn the cranks and I just kind of follow that with my legs. And you'll have those days too. Like some days you'll be good, you'll be better than others. So sometimes it's good just to take a break. to get up the ramp as balanced as possible to begin with. The other thing too is you can use like a surface like this and then just put yourself backwards but to me that's a little bit easier than going up. When you're going up the ramp and coming backwards there's a little bit of balance as you're pointed up so you want to lean forward a little bit and then lean back. This is a different feeling. So you've got to get used to that feeling, I think, in order to learn this. So. I 
thing to look at. I do better when I look forward. I don't expect it to help the young guys much. They probably learned this in about an hour. It's good part. But I'm a long I'm learning trick. It's still kind of that easy. Okay, that was a little bit better. I magically got one. I still pedal backwards a little bit too fast. That was probably beginner's luck. And I'll probably get this little wind every now and then. Good. Remember what that feels like. If anybody can make it through the first two minutes of this video watching the same thing over and over again, bless you. Let's get another small win. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. No, you can't. All right. Here we go again. We're hot here now. If I can take his jacket off, but you know what? Screw it. Big tent. Ah! Ugh. Frustrating. I was probably better at this yesterday.
seems like we're there on like the first three quarters of the revolution right off the ramp, but after that it just all sides out the window to the wall. Every once in a while, your foot will catch on those little pegs and uh, you'll dump it. do it for today you guys know what to do it's first time to the channel subscribe and if you like the content click the thumbs up button and uh, click that bell for post notifications this is uh, week one so I've done two days of practice I'd say probably the max I'll be able to do is maybe three hours a week practice and I'll try to turn this into a series and show you my weekly um, progression if there is any and uh, once we learn fakey, like I said, we're going to learn how to spin out of it. Um, I'm going to try to get the, the high bunny hops down, maybe bar spin. Just a few things that help me uh, get balanced on the bike. So, until next time, you guys know what to do. Skill up and ride.